first and second grade. I'm so happy you tuned in to our lesson. It's Mrs. Hunsaker, and I'm here to give you your lesson for this week. We're gonna start off reading from the book that we read in class each week. So to begin, our lesson today states that we believe God wants parents to love their children. So if you look at the picture here in our book, you see uh, maybe that's a grandmother and maybe that's a mother with her baby and they're all playing together because God wants parents to love their children. You can read with me if you'd like. I'm gonna start right here. Family members share their love with each other. Brothers and sisters love each other. Cousins love each other but parents love their children most of all. They are happy when their children are happy. They feel hurt when something bad happens to them. How do your parents feel when you do something good? They are very proud of you. That is because they love you. God gave you parents to help you grow. Your parents teach you to do the right thing. They work hard. They try to make sure you will have everything you need. Your parents want what is good for you. Here in the picture, you can see maybe parents are getting vegetables, fruits and vegetables for their children because they want, they want to teach their children the right way to eat. And here maybe, here's the mother showing her son how to brush her teeth because from our parents, we learn how to take care of ourselves properly. The Bible says, children, obey your parents. Can everyone read that with me? Children, obey your parents. Does any, do you know what the word obey means right there? Obey. Obey means to listen to your parents and do what they tell you to do. So the Bible wants children, that's you, to obey your parents parents to listen to your parents what they have to say is really important and it's always what's best for you have you and your parents ever disagreed about something sometimes that happens but you should not argue with your parents remember they want what is good for you they love you you should listen to them here's a picture looks like maybe a mom and her daughter ice skating it looks like she might be a little bit upset and maybe her mom maybe they're having a little disagreement but they'll be fine the daughter's going to listen to her mom because her mom knows what's best for her here it looks like a dad with his daughter fishing and maybe you've done that before and maybe sometimes it gets a little bit you don't know what you're doing and someone tells you how to do it and you don't want to do it that way but we always should listen to our parents. And look here, it looks like they're writing something down. Looks like they're listening to what their parents have to say. We should always obey our parents. So I'm gonna read you a few statements and I want you to raise your hand at home and tell me if you, if this is something your parents would want you to do. Would your parents want you to take someone's toys? No. Would your parents want you to go to class late? No. Do your parents want you to do your homework? Yes, that is something your parents would want you to do. How about this? Do your parents tell you to be nice to your brother or your sister? Yes, you're right. What about, do your parents maybe sometimes ask you to set the table for dinner or do something at your house to help around? Yes, that's something that will make you a better person. So they do ask you to do those things. What about this? Do they tell you to argue with your friends? <laughs> no, that's not something that they would tell you to do. So. 
when you see things like that, you can understand why our parents want us to do certain things because they're trying to help us to be the best people we can be. Next, I'm going to read you a Bible story, and it's about Joseph and Mary and what they had to do to take care of Jesus. They had to make a lot of sacrifices for their child, which your parents do too. But it's really important that you always listen to your parents because, again, they know what's best for you. So I'm going to read you a Bible story, and I'm going to actually show you the book like I did a minute ago. And you can see a little bit about what Joseph and Mary had to do to do what was best for baby Jesus. A Bible story. Mary and Joseph loved Jesus. Soon after Jesus was born, the three wise men visited him. They were very happy to see Jesus. They called him King and they brought him gifts. But King Herod did not like that. King Herod was the king of the land at the time. He was the ruler of Judea then. He was afraid that Jesus would take his place. So we planned to have Jesus killed. Well, one night, Joseph had a dream. And in the dream, an angel told him that King Herod is looking for Jesus and he wants to kill him. Take Mary and Jesus far away from here. Go to Egypt. You will be safe there. So... Mary and Joseph took baby Jesus on a donkey. They didn't have cars, they didn't have buses or trains or airplanes back there. Back then, the only thing they had was a donkey. The trip was long and difficult. There were many dangers. All they had to ride on was a donkey, but Joseph and Mary did what the angel said. They loved Jesus and wanted to save him. Some years later, King Herod died. Now, it was safe for Jesus and his parents to return to their land. They went to live in a town called Nazareth. And that's a story from Matthew, a book in the Bible. The chapter 2, verses 1 to 23. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm so glad you could be here. I cannot wait to see you all in person in Sunday school. There are a couple questions that I emailed you with this video, so you can go ahead and answer them and respond to them before Sunday night. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great weekend. Have fun.